What's up, LS gang? It's your girl Sass, and I'm back with another one straight facts. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you watch all the previous videos that I have on my channel, all the lit content that I have on my channel. And welcome back to my channel, like I said. But I am just starting my vlog. I'm going to do. So, as you guys can tell by the title, I am doing an updated QA. Um, I'm currently on my way to see my niece and nephew, my nieces and nephew. Um, it's currently on my phone that it's currently, I am running behind time because I had to go to the damn store, but it's currently 12.09 and I'm about to stop over here and check on them, say hey to them real quick and then go by my sister, um, because it's my sister's uh it's about well my mentor is her son's graduation party but i can't make it because my mom is doing a brunch um at one o'clock so that's why i'm behind i want to stop and see him for like a split second probably not gonna have time to do it i probably just gonna have to go straight to um straight to new orleans but if my camera a little rocky <laughs> if my cam Hold on, y'all. If my camera a little rocky, it's because I'm driving on this road. I'm about to tell her I'm about to pull up. Pulling up. Uh, so she can tell him to come outside. Just gonna say hey. And do what, what you call them with them. They probably not gonna want to get on my vlog. I probably, I'm not standing in that heat. And if they dead outside. If they dead there, he gonna say come inside, but I don't really feel comfortable with, I don't really feel comfortable with him like that, so, um, yeah, so, I'ma, uh, tell her that I'm pulling, I just texted him, I told her I was pulling up, cause they literally stay right there, but, I'll be back on the vlog later, okay, or I might put them on the vlog, I don't know, I don't know. I... Put on my Instagram at the gorgeous underscore sassy two underscores after that, and I do have a backup page called the life of the life of underscore sassy, I believe. Um, I'm gonna show y'all right quick. And I only made two Instagrams because y'all a lot these days, all of these Instagrams is getting hacked and it's crazy. So this is my first Instagram. It said the gorgeous underscore sassy two underscores after that and then this is my other one it's called yeah da life of underscore sassy the life of sassy so that's my second one um and i don't really post on there um i think i'm gonna upload a picture real soon but yeah so i put on my poll um updated q a because a couple of weeks ago i asked some like if um, some new content that you guys wanted me to put out a lot of people said uh updated q a some people said um one person said try on haul i'll probably do that soon too but um i'm just going to give you all the questions so i put it on all my social medias too uh just in case because i do follow certain people on certain ones so um i'm gonna start with this one because it is mental health awareness and i forgot who um hold on y'all let me see if i could pull it up so this guy he said talk about talk about suicide depression and all of that of what's going on and all that what's going on what's going on a lot is going on right now well basically so the first one, I, I would guess the first one is talking about suicide. I guess how I feel about it. Um, being that you guys don't know, but I am a therapist at a, a, a mental health or not mental health. It's the hospital is called the beha a behavior health hospital, but we do have mental health patients. We have mental health. We have substance use or substance abuse. We have um people who's been molested, people who suffer with anxiety, depression, all of those in there and have suicidal ideation what at the job is called suicidal ideation but most people will say suicidal or just have suicidal thoughts or something like that but um and it goes from adolescence to geriatrics that's what the unit is um and it's split up in fives but i'm not gonna get up into two i'm not gonna get too depth up in it but how i feel about suicide is um 
I feel like it's a touchy topic. You know, I don't know what goes on in people's personal life. Um, and I can say from being a therapist and, and the people who I come across really do suffer with a lot of, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, a lot of just past childhood trauma or just trauma in general. It can be a bad wreck. It can be just stressed out. Like, you know, life, I'm telling you, it's really stressed out and it could drive you to suicidal thoughts and so how i feel about it is if you're ever seeking that not seeking if you're ever if you're ever going through or having those thoughts i will recommend you go and see a therapist or a psychiatrist or get some you know tell someone tell someone about it you know don't shy away from it just because you think oh it's crazy or i would look crazy or look crazy telling people no you know if you reach out and you're serious about it and you know stuff like that and it's really affecting you i would say seek help because you never know it could be the simplest thing like exact example for what i do um i've like so example for what i do i um each department has their own like assessment or has their own thing that they do with the patients my job as a recreational therapist is to provide that fun activity or that that positive coping skill or a coping mechanism or a puzzle or music anything and pertaining to that to take their mind off things and you never know or just simple communication social skills or communicating with others or communicating with their peers or me you know, and I, and I always tell my patients, you know, that when I call on you guys or when I want you guys to talk or, you know, talk to me or whatever, um, it's not the fact that I'm picking on you or anything. It's the fact that it's just to build your confidence because a lot of them in there, they do suffer with low self-esteem or low confidence. And I, and I want that to be a part of that because at one point in my life, I was that, I was that, you know, you get told as a child to shut up, be quiet, you know, what you talking for, you know. I'm the I, I'm the adult, you the child. You don't got you can't like mind your business or you know you get told those type of things. So it's like as you get older or as you start having a voice for yourself, you start to like you know speak up for yourself and express your feelings more. And that's what I always tell my godchildren and my nieces and nephews that like if you're feeling bothered or feeling something or feeling some type of way about something, speak up. Don't try to hold it in because you never know. You keep building and building and building, and then you turn into depression. Depression can lead to anxiety or or depression can lead to suicidal thoughts. And and that's what I get from it. You know, if you're having those thoughts, speak up about it. If you're having those thoughts, talk to someone. If you're having those thoughts, seek help. See, go to a psychiatrist. Go to a, a um psychiatrist go to um a, a, a counselor or a therapist or you know something pertaining to that to help you or to seek help you know even if it's just if even if you don't feel like you know you haven't even if you don't feel like or even if you feel like you're not you're not fully there yet or fully you know suicidal or, or, or you feel like it's just a stage even if it's just a stage go talk to someone um yeah, so, the, like, all of that ties into depression and all of that. You know, depression, I would say depression, comes in all shapes, sizes, forms, things, pl things, and everything. You know, depression is, is, is real. You know, I don't think I've experienced depression, but I did feel like I wasn't in a I wasn't in a comfortable environment or a comfortable state for myself so with that being said like I felt a time in my life where I felt stuck or I felt like this is not this is not all that I'm giving like this is just this like I know I could provide more or I know I can do more for myself like I just gotta seek that and you know just jump out there the you know just jump out there you know I you know, I didn't I never I never felt depressed or anything. And God forbid I ever feel depressed. Um, because I'm very I'm very head on strong and I do have mentors that I'm talking to or if even if I'm overthinking sometimes, I have my counselors or my mentors or people who can help me who, you know, can be that extra ear or something like that, just in case I feel like I'm just going out of my mind. But 
depression is very real. And just like I said, with suicidal thoughts, seek help. You know, and I tell my patients all the time, in order to feel like you have depression or feel like, you know, you at that depressed state, the first thing to do is admitting it. You have to admit it first. You know, you may not even feel it. You may not even feel it or it may just come because that's what a lot, when I, when, at my job, a lot of my patients, they tell me, you know, it just happened. And it might do just happen. But the first thing to do if you're suffering with, with, suffering with depression or anxiety is to admit it um, and then seek help. Okay, um, next question was, what is your passion and why? My passion is, I have a lot. I have a lot. Um, so my first passion is dancing. As you guys know that I am a dancer. I do dance a lot. Um, I've slacked off a lot since I've been working, but I do dance a lot. And um, if you don't follow me on social media or in, on any, in, on, yeah, if you don't follow me on social media, my social media is, you know, just like I said, the Gorgeous Sassy, where you will see all my dance videos. I needed to get back in the studio and do more dance vlogs or dance videos. And I can vlog dance workshops. But um, these people is crazy. And they don't, they don't really, they don't really text back. Every time, like, that's, that's a whole different topic. But um, I would say my passion is dance. My, also, my, pa my, my other passion is um, kids. I love kids, um, and I wanted to do something with kids, but I don't know yet. I think I want to do something pertaining to my first passion, connected to my second passion, and that's opening up my own dance studio. So for kids, um, or like maybe three, no, I would say four to maybe about, I give it maybe 15, 16, about 16 or 17. You know, in that range, because I love kids. I love interacting with them. I love teaching them. I love helping them. I love hugging them, kissing them, loving them. I just love that. I just love, I just love kids. And why not combine my first passion with my second passion? And then my third passion is criminal, not criminal justice, but it's in criminal justice field, but it's forensic DNA or forensic science or whatever the case may be. I love crime. I love crime scenes. I love crime shows. All I do is watch crime stuff. I like Law & Order, SVU. I like um, the all anything on the ID channel. You get me on there, I'm stuck with it. I know a couple of shows, Fatal Vows, um, what is called Disappeared. Disappeared. Um, I like Joe Kenda. Y'all, if y'all haven't watched Joe Kenda, his little thing on um, Hulu. I don't know, something about Joe Kenda. I really like his uh, his investigations. Um, and then, like, I'm going to show y'all um, on my YouTube, like, all I've been watching is these, you know, these local um, females, they, I guess they journal jur in journalism or something like that, and they just have a YouTube channel, and it focuses on crime stuff. See, the first thing that pop up is this right here. And that's the first thing that pop up, and I'm telling you, I watch stuff like this all the time. This another one. This another one. Oh, wait, it's right here. But I watch stuff like this all the time. Like, I love crime stuff. And I'm telling you, I watch it daily. Um, Okay, so that's my passions. My passions are, I mean, my passions is dance, dancing, kids, and crime. Stuff, stuff, stuff dealing with it, I love. Okay, the next question is, how do you feel... How, how does it feel to live alone? It feels wonderful. I can't wait to go home. I'm at Walmart right now. I'm about to grab some water and some stuff to grab for breakfast and some um, stuff to eat for lunch at work. And I'm about to go home and relax. You know, you got about a, a, a couple of hours until you take a shower and then I got to work the next couple of days. But uh, it feels lovely. I love living alone. The only thing about like in an apartment is you got to worry about like the, the stumping sometimes. Or like in, in your neighbors arguing, but it's it's very rare. But I love I love living by myself. Um, if you a little scary, it'll be scary at times. But if you if you like to be alone, if you like to be like you know have your peace and your sanity, and it's been so long. I'm telling you where I came from. It's been so long since I felt home. I felt happy. I felt comfortable. I felt peace, silence, everything. 
you're going to love it because I, I love being at home. I, every time I leave, I'd be like, damn, I miss home. I feel like incomplete when I leave my residence. I'd be like, uh uh-uh. But I love living alone. I love it. Okay, just a few more questions. So the question is, what is your opinion on jealousy in a relationship? And like I said, me personally, I honestly feel like it shouldn't be any jealousy. Um, and if you ever get into the point where you do feel jealous or feel like you know, you're know you experiencing some type of jealousy, I feel like you guys should talk to each other or seek some type of some type of help or guidance because, well, it, well it, and it also depends on how deep in a relationship you guys are. If you're feeling jealous, if you're feeling jealous in a relationship and you're about like a month or two months, three months, four months in, then I feel like, you know, you shouldn't be experiencing jealousy. And if you feel like, if, if you feel like you're experiencing jealousy, then you guys shouldn't be together. But if it's years and years and you 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 wasn't jealous at first, but you're trying you're experiencing those jealousy thoughts or jealousy tendencies, then I'll I'll advise I'll advise you to talk to your spouse or talk to your partner. And 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 if that doesn't go anywhere, then talk to someone professionally. Okay, um, where's the other question? Okay, um, if you go on a vacation with someone, if you're going on a vacation, which one is better, friends or family? And I would say it all depends on, like, the vibe. I feel like, you know, or the setting. Um, I don't know, it's, it's weird because, well, it's weird because my family, my mom's side is boring. <laughs> It's boring, and, and it, you see the same people. Like, you see the same people. Like, it's it's nothing. Like, you just sit up there, and you just everybody's so distant and isolated. But see, on my dad's side, you know, we all closer, and it's like you know, that's the, my dad's side is the fun side. My daddy's side is the is the party side. Like they, you know, we like the drinks. We we get the drinks, the hookahs. We be lit. Like the music. My daddy like to have fun. My dad, you know, the the, the part, the life of the party, like he be, you know, dancing on the mic, everything. But my mama, she just, she so like they fam, that side is just so like closed off, and you know, like I don't know, it's just weird. But um, but I would prefer, I would I would say it all depends on the vibe and the the setting. Um, yeah, and you know what. What what kind of vibe you going for on that on that trip? If I'm going to have fun and explore, and vibe our club setting, I will go with my friends like any day. But if I'm going on a little quick little trip, and you know it's gonna be a little turnaround trip, and we not really doing much, I will go with my family. But so the next question is, do you prefer sex on the first date? Y'all, I told y'all. I don't know if y'all ever seen my previous um updated q a's on my q a's but i have a thing about that i don't like that i really don't like that i don't like a guy or somebody that's so eager to have sex with me or a person like you know and i love that you might love my body or love my personality but that's it's more than it's more than sex in my in my looks like it's more than that like you know it's you know what's deep down inside like even if we we, we might not even connect like that like and i'm just having sex with you on a first fucking date like that's fucking nasty as fuck like ew like i just and then so the people who do do it that's all fine and dandy you know to have your little one night stand but that me that girl maybe i need to be more experienced with that but i'm i'm really not like i cannot i cannot like i cannot y'all i just don't like that and i'd be like that's so fucking trashy and nasty and it's tacky like trashy nasty and fucking tacky I just don't, I don't like that. Like, I don't, I don't like guys that's so, you know, so, so needy and so, like, let's go to your room. Let's, 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 let's kiss. Let's do this. Like, like, damn, nigga, you don't even know me. Like, you don't even know, if, you don't even know if I got something, like, God forbid, but you don't even know, you don't even know my birthday. You don't even know my last name, but you're trying to have sex with me. Like, come on, come, like, come on. No, I don't agree. We just keep it brief and simple. And the last question is, are you currently in a relationship? So I get this question a lot, and I'm telling y'all, y'all, I don't understand. And I just got it earlier today. My auntie asked me, you got a boyfriend yet? 
like, why? Why are you guys so pressed on me having a boyfriend? Like, I don't need a, I do want a boyfriend. And I say all this all the time. Like, I like, damn, I need a, I need a man, I need a man. Like, I'm tired of, like, being on the phone with my friends. Like, damn, I want to be in some type of relationship or going, like, looking forward to a relationship. But these niggas is just not right. And granted, y'all, they have several guys, like, literally, it's not the fact that I don't have a nigga or can't find a nigga. It's the right niggas are not coming my way. Like, and I, and just like I said the last question, I'm not one of those simple ass girls. Like, I got fucking standards. And bitch, like, you, at least you gotta meet at least one or two. Like, you guys aren't shit. Like, I ain't gonna say all of them, but like, these niggas is just, they're not in the, the, the type of mindset that I'm on. Like, business wise, goal oriented, you know, handsome. You know, um, take care of themselves, respectful, respectful to women, you know, you know, have something going for themselves, like, you know, decent, and you know, not, not be with the bullshit, like, it's just too much, but I say all of this to say, no, I do not have a boyfriend, yes, I am looking, but I'm not that, like, I'm not pressed on it, but yes, I am looking, so any contestants come my way, but I am not, like, pressed on it, y'all. I'm not pressed on it. I don't have to have a man. Like, I don't have to be in a relationship just to say I'm in one, you know. I, I don't because my dad instilled in me, like, you know, never, never depend on a guy to take care of you. Never depend on a guy to, you know, I love this little dragon right here from the tree. But never depend on a guy to take care of you and never depend on a, just never depend on a guy to, you know, provide for you, you know, like, you should be at a point to like a guy maybe can add on to what you already have, but he shouldn't take away or you know deduct what you got going on as a businesswoman, as a woman, as a yeah, as a woman in general. But that's all I have for my updated Q and A. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel, LS Gang. Until then, we are out. Mm -hmm. Thank you.